All right, hey guys, uh, Mitch here, and today I'm going to be taking a look at um, Midi Steps Midi Step Sequencer Toy, and uh, I don't really think it should be labeled as a toy because it's uh, has some pretty advanced features. Um, you can send uh, velocity and length and uh, CC changes per step per individual block. Um, and so let's uh, kind of take a look at the app. I'm going to be controlling I am one, um, and have it set to multi mode with uh, um, eight different multi mode is how you have eight different. You can have up to eight different instruments, and it's all going to correspond to the particular channels, MIDI channels one through eight. Um, and um, so let's kind of do an overview of the uh, of the app. It um, you have down here at the bottom. It's labeled I am one, I am one six, I am one three, I am one four, and those are corresponding. Those are different. It's some of the naming convention is a little off because here you have patterns, but then here you have pattern mix. Um, and as you can see, you have four different channels. I guess I w that's how I would kind of put it: four different tracks of um, MIDI information being sent somewhere and each of those four different channels or tracks have 16 possible patterns each and each of them can be independent they can sync up um, or you can have them you know go free or loop once um, you know just play through once or you can have it loop um, so a whole bunch of different stuff you can do um, and so really to uh, to start you go over here to I am one one the middle button is kind of your output controller where you want it to go and so I have it selected on I am one channel one um, and that is corresponding to this on I am one channel one which is universe um, and so I can I have just a random pattern set up in here and I can hit start um, it'll play through the sequence and it'll just keep looping and if I wanted to change patterns um, I just have to go back go up here and I can change patterns or I can go here and change patterns and you can kind of see the indication on the one where the progression is and then I cause I have it set to go to the end it'll wait till the end and then it'll jump to three so this is kind of your almost like a you know your clip launcher here um, which is really cool once you get your song built up you can you know kind of play it live um, and then so if you're tapping along each note that you hit will correspond to a will add a new note and you can add up to four notes at a time, so you could play chords. If you had this hooked up, if you had a MIDI controller hooked up to your iPad, you could actually, you know, you could physically play the chords instead of trying to chord it on the on this keyboard. Um, you know, you could physically play the different notes in, and then you could set set it to do whole notes, quarter notes, and this is going to be per this track. And so every pattern. If you have it on half notes here, the only, kind of the one thing I would like to see is um, maybe I can sequence pattern free sync. Um, I was seeing if there was a uh, an option to where I could turn that off, but I don't see where I could. Um, but anyway, so if I have this on half speed two it's going to be half speed two uh speed half all the, on all the different tracks on all the different channels um no right my pants letter anyway um and so you can uh yeah so uh so all the patterns on track one if i have it set to quarter notes are going to play at quarter note and I can go back and change it to whole note, but it's going to change it for all the patterns. So when I switch to a new pattern, it's going to go, it's going to con 
play on quarter notes or it's going to play on whatever the whatever I have selected for that particular track um, but uh, so let's go to an empty pattern and say I'm playing in and I mess up and I didn't want to hit that A right here so I can hold the A click and hold the A and I have options I can I can add a note um, should be able to add a note in front of it or behind it um, I can clear the note but if I clear the note it's going to delete the note um, I can copy kind of copy and paste the note like if I have a chord in and I kind of want to copy and paste the chord I can mute it I can skip it I can uh, move it to the I can have the pattern start there and so I can kind of uh, change the start point of the pattern um, I can make that be the end point I can have it hold the note um, I can rest it if I hit rest it's gonna give it a dash um, I can tie it to the next note I can accent it if I want to and then I can change the note and so I can just navigate here anywhere and click and change the note um, took me a little while to kind of navigate that portion of um, not having to you know typing in some stuff or playing in some stuff and then having to clear back because I messed up at the beginning of it um, then I then I soon realized that it's pretty easy to do that um, just hold the note down and you can have free range on what, what note you want um, also per step so each of the blocks represent a step um, you can adjust the velocity and you can see that um, moving up and down you can adjust the length up and down. You can adjust a particular CC MIDI message. Um, and so, uh, and you can have that per per step. And so if I wanted like a, if I just wanted to create like a, like a wobble or anything like that, um, you know, that would be possible. I could, you know, do variations on a particular uh, CC message. Um, there's not, there's only one CC that you can do um, or you can um, wax well, okay I am corrected I stand corrected I could do three CC messages or I could do the velocity um, and the length here so I could essentially if I wanted to change if I was okay with the length and the velocity I could set that to CC4 I could set that to you know whatever I want to and then I could uh, I would be adjusting, you know, all these different CC messages, you know, up to three CC messages per step, which, you know, that could essentially be uh, pretty nice if I just wanted to rest all these. I could just send, use this to kind of send the CC messages um, to another app. Um, and let's see, so I went over all of that. I can clear a particular... Um, what if I want to, I went over wrist and tie, went through the options. Um, one of the cool options I think, um, is the ability to, um, have random velocities, um, and random, uh, lengths. And so if you have it down here, when I press play, they're all going to play the same length and the same velocity um, but if I go here to random I can change the velocity to random to give it a little more of a you know human feel and then I can do the same with the length you know to give a little bit of variation uh, let's try a different patch on this one um, let's go to a string. Oh. Make sure you have background audio selected. So let's see what that sounds like. 
music just kind of did 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 kind of you can tell it's very sequenced but as soon as you start adjusting this random velocity it gives a little more feel and then you get the random links going on you know you kind of get a more of a human feel to it so i thought that was really really nice and that's why exactly why this is not a toy because it has some pretty advanced features um you know and you could i think i have you could, you know, you could do uh, some basic, some basic drum, very basic drum stuff, or you could, you know, have this four different uh, control and four different uh, drum patterns. Um, so you could, you could, you could set them all to the same uh, MIDI channels um, and the same, the same app, the same MIDI channel, so it's controlling the same app so I could essentially set it to all drums and you know I could have this one as bass and you know snare hi-hat um you know and then have four you know kind of some feels and stuff but it's all depending on how you want to use it um let me think did I save that set earlier Just something I was I played around with this morning for a few minutes, um, and had that set done. And it kind of you don't have to you don't have to go through and save it. It saves it as you play. And so if you don't want to, um, if you if you have something you want to play with but you don't want to lose what you had before, then I would suggest do the save as and save it as a new set, um, and then play around with it because. Um, I, did, I just I was on test and I hit um, new set and it didn't ask me if I wanted to save it or whatever and I had been playing around with test so from that I've gathered it auto saves and so if you have something in set and you want to play with it but you don't want to lose what you had before then I would suggest save as making a duplicate of the uh, set and then playing with the new sets that way you don't lose your previous work um, other than that um, if you have some notes and you just kind of want to randomly fill, random order, you can double it, you can note up and down, shift them left and right, octaves, reverse the pattern. Uh, um, and so it's got a lot of a lot of cool parts on that as far as uh, getting patterns in there. Um, I don't, did I go if you hit where it says record if you hit pattern that's a quick way to um, change between the different patterns and transpose you can transpose a whole entire pattern up or down um, and that's pretty much it it does not have Ableton link yet but it will receive uh, it'll receive clock if you're sending clock out through another app um, and uh, I guess that's about um, it. Um, oh, that's why I was I was trying to click the I was trying to click the background audio button, and I was wondering why it wasn't responding. But it's background audio off, background audio for five minutes or on, and I'm sure the five minutes is to conserve battery life. Um, but uh. And then you can kind of MIDI map. Uh, it'll it'll MIDI learn um, notes, and so you could essentially get your pattern set, and you could trigger, start, um, reset uh, patterns, um, all those options. Uh, and I guess that's uh, I guess that's it. Um, hope this guy hope this helps anybody. Um, if you have any comments. Uh, Please leave a comment below and like and subscribe and I will talk to you guys later.